it's really beautiful just to be here in this amazing space where we have this opportunity to educate ourselves in the nature of mind, in the nature of who we are, in the nature of what a human being really is. And um, the good news is that that's really easy. You already are who you are. Your mind is already completely wide open and clear. There's nothing that needs to change about you for that to be recognized. There's no more work that needs to be done, no more struggling, no more purification or healing. Just relaxing and allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. So simple and yet so profound and effective. And it begins with the introduction into the nature of mind. And the introduction is just as simple as to stop describing everything for a moment. Just, just relax and allow all of your thoughts just to flow on by. Allow your body to relax. Allow yourself to notice the alertness, the intelligence and the cognizance that is hearing these words. That's looking through your eyes. That's feeling the wind blowing through the air that knows you're here. This intelligence is always on. It's always naturally present. So you don't have to do anything or go anywhere or work anything out for it to be just gently recognized. And so what we're doing here is learning how to recognize this intelligence and how to prioritize it. And this happens in a very simple, gentle way. One short moment at a time. So it's not a difficult process. Very simple and very gentle. <coughs> what was interesting for me coming to this training was to see that my approach had been very, very analytical, very intellectual, trying to work out and understand everything based on everything that I'd learned previously. And when I came to this training and I came to these open meetings and I watched the videos and I listened to the trainers, it seemed that so much of what I heard just went straight over my head. But every now and again I would hear something that would strike me really directly, like a lightning bolt. <coughs> something that described my experience so completely and accurately that it was undeniable. And then I'd fall asleep. <laughs> but something about what I heard kept me coming back. Because there was something in me that was recognizing the absolute truth of what I was hearing. And then I was given this simple instruction to take short moments of just relaxing and allowing everything to be exactly as it was. And for me, this was incredible. This was amazing. Because here was something that I could take away and test for myself and see whether what was being talked about was true or not. I'd read so much about the nature of reality, so much about the nature of mind, so much about the nature of identity. And here was something that I could take with me in my everyday experience of life and test for myself. And that's what I did. And what I discovered continues to amaze me. Because what I discovered was the indivisible, inseparable, unified nature of everything was immediately accessible. Just in this short moment of allowing everything to be exactly as it was relaxing the need to describe and analyze and work everything out. And this was, seemed like such a struggle at the beginning because my intellect and my rational mind were so dear to me. They were the only tool that I knew and that seemed to be available to me to understand what was going on. And just to relax, relax that obsessive need to describe everything went against everything that I'd learned. 
And yet, just for a short moment, I could test it out for myself. Was it safe to do this? What would happen when I did this? How would I behave? And I had all of these questions and all of these concerns. But in a short moment, I discovered for myself this complete sense of okayness that I had always been looking for. And I could look back at my life and all of the different things that I'd been doing, all of the different activities, all of the things that I'd poured my time and energy into, looking for this sense of okayness. And in that first short moment of relaxing and allowing everything to be as it was, that was discovered to be naturally present. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to continue to work at my experience to make it look any particular way. I didn't have to focus on and manipulate all of the data that were just shining forth. And data is a term that we use in this training just to describe anything that we can experience. So any thought, emotion or physical sensation or, or any experience we can just simply call data. And all data are known by the same wide open intelligence that is open like a clear sky. And that is your intelligence. And each time you relax and allow this data just to flow on by, this stream of data, then open intelligence naturally and effortlessly becomes more obvious. Each short moment it's just like this precious jewel, this diamond of the recognition, the instinctive recognition of the way that things actually are. All data just flowing on by, effortlessly self-releasing, impossible to grab on to any particular moment, impossible to capture the here and now. All data self-releasing naturally like, like mist evaporating in air. And so you can relax and allow that to be exactly as it is. Because that's the nature of reality. And in doing so, what happens is this spaciousness, is this openness, is this capacity to respond with complete perceptual openness in all circumstances and in any situation, with a completely open heart, with nothing, nothing to guard or defend, nothing to work out anymore, just tapping into this most comprehensive kind of intelligence, the intelligence of the universe, because that is what is looking through your eyes, that's what's hearing these words, not this isolated individual that I know I'd worked so hard at trying to understand and define and categorize, instead just allowing myself to be exactly as I am, and if you fall asleep in the training, then that's fine. That's great. Often when I can't sleep at night, I listen to the talks from Candice. And it's fantastic. Really quickly, I often fall fast asleep. <laughs> but what's interesting is that in my sleep, I still listen to the talks. And when I wake up in the morning, I can remember those talks. So this is a really interesting way for us to also demonstrate the pure transmission that goes on in this training. The direct recognition, open intelligence recognizing itself. When this, this is spoken in a very clear and direct way, it is impossible not to recognize. And so to listen to the talks while you're asleep, while you're falling asleep, while you're cooking your dinner, doing whatever you're doing, not necessarily concentrating on what's being said. At the same time, this allows you to assimilate what is being shared here. Because the recognition goes way beyond any intellectual or analytical understanding. So just keep showing up. If you're new here and most of what's being said is, is completely meaningless, then come back for at least six open meetings and see what happens. See if what's being spoken about just very naturally and very easily becomes more obvious to you.
this openness, this ease, this spaciousness, this clarity of thought, becoming clearer and clearer as to the nature of reality. Now this clarity and this increasing ease manifests in a very practical way. So with the example of anger and wrath, it can be very powerful to take some time to train up and to get to know the power of your mind and the nature of your mind. And to not react in the way that we've been trained to react something like anger. So when something like anger comes up, we have these conventional ways of dealing with it. Now, am I going to indulge it? Am I going to go over there and tell this person why they're pissing me off and why they've got to stop doing it? Or am I going to avoid it? You know, I, when I see that person on the beach, then I turn around and hide in a chai shop. <laughs> or am I going to try and replace it with something else? I'm feeling really angry. I know, I'll replace that with trying to feel calm. I'm going to feel calm. I'm going to, I'm going to try and like them. And you might be able to do that for a little bit. But when the next thing they say really pushes your next button, then that anger just comes bubbling back <laughs> twice as intensely as before. So to give yourself some time just not to react in any of those ways and allow the anger to be as it is. And to become familiar with the nature of mind and to tap into this intelligence and to gain the confidence <laughs> in seeing what will be of most benefit there. And then that power of anger, that incredible energy that you feel when you're angry, becomes available to be used in a way that is of benefit. And beneficial anger is wrath. It's saying something very clearly and very directly when it needs to be said. But there's nothing going on there. It's just a simple, clear saying and the simple clear seeing and the simple clear saying of what will be of most benefit. And that happens in a completely spontaneous way. And like you shared, it's very direct. And it happens completely spontaneously. And you're learning to train up that capacity within yourself. Learning to trust your own innate wisdom. Resting in your own powers of great benefit. That's what we're learning to do here. And this is the most important thing that you can do for yourself and do for humanity. The most important and powerful gift you can give to yourself and give to humanity. It's so needed. And so your courage and your openness in checking this out is just remarkable. The fact that you're sitting here and listening to what's being said. So take away one of the booklets or some of the talks from the media table and check it out for yourself. Now, there was something here that intrigued me and I checked it out and it's been the most, the most incredible and profound thing that I've ever come across in my life.